Hey Ospreys, Kevin Dugan here, coming to you live from the Community First Igloo, where the League of Legends team is competing in the Iceman Esports Tournament Series. The team aims to repeat their success from last week and to build confidence heading into the Sea Law season. Join me as I document their run and interview some of the players. Yeah, 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 this guy is... I'm almost here though. It's winning, it's winning. I was gonna say, see if you can give me some. Yeah. Yo, where That's a people though, like... Oh!
Uh, hey Ospreys, Kevin Dugan here again, joined by Ethan, the top laner. Uh, I just wanted to ask him some questions after their best of three victory tonight. Uh, how did you feel like about the game overall? Um, the game overall was pretty chill. Like I just hit some minions, hit the enemy champions. Like days work, all the same. Uh, how did you feel about the mid laner, uh, Steven? Do you think like how, how how did you think about his performance? Yeah, so actually today I just played with no comms, so it was like kind of the same, but like, you know, in game, whenever I like F keyed to him, like F1, F2, you know, you swap over, I was like, dang, like he's really in like a different spot, like he's in a different mood today, it was kind of crazy. So would you say that uh, affected your performance, performance positively? Um, I don't know, actually, I kind of just like played my own game per usual, you know, but seeing it, I was like, wow, like, that's crazy, like, I, I really didn't think he would be over there, you know? So he was like playing more for the team and like playing more selflessly? Mm, I'm not completely sure. I think our team just like, you know, played like kind of the same. Like maybe we were a little bit more on the same page for a few fights. Kind of like they, they were more friendly today. It's kind of weird. I got you. Well, I appreciate you taking the time to talk to me. Yeah, I got you. Hey, Ospreys, I'm here with Seth Tompkins, the support for the UNF League team. And uh, I just wanted to catch up with him after the 2-0 victory here at the Igloo. Uh, how did you feel about the games you played? Oh, I felt like they were pretty good, um, pretty quick victories, um, same as last week, but uh, it was good practice, you know, good team building too, just overall a uh, good experience for the team. So you guys uh, you guys had Steve in your mid laner on Swain, uh, how do you feel about the Swain pick, like do you think it's a pick you're going to be, you know, moving forward with? I hope so, Steven was playing like un abnormally well today, um, especially on the Swain. Like even when he we he swapped support for a game, he was looking he was looking crazy on the Swain support as well. I've never seen Steven have so much versatility and be so positive in the same time. So touching on the positivity, have you had issues where it's like where it's like a thing where it's like, you know, he can be a negative force or you know, do you feel like do you feel like today has been like a, a turning point for him? I feel like in the past he's definitely had his negative moments, but uh, he knows and he's he's growing and, and working on it, and I think today you could really like just see that progress, and it was like a, a switch just flipped, right? And uh, yeah, he just became a lot more of a, a positive influence on the team today. So you could say he was like a like a different person today. But, uh, yeah, like it was black and white, like completely different person. So do you think uh, Stephen going support is going to be something you're going to see from the future? I hope so, to be honest, because uh, he might not need to be in a carry role. Well, I, uh, I appreciate you taking the time. Uh, you know, it's a late night here, but I appreciate you taking the time to come talk to me.